Hi, my name is David Breslow. I've been a peak performance coach for over 20 years. And during that time, I've worked with athletes from all different sports, from downhill skiing, to tennis, to ping pong, to ballet, which is not necessarily a sport, but they are athletes, to dancers of various kinds, baseball players, basketball players, professional and amateur golfers, tennis players, and so much more. Now, why is it that my program has been so successful over the years? Well, it's very simple. I'm going to give you the straight talk from a very straight guy right now. And I'm talking to you, specifically, the golfer. Here's the deal. Almost every golfer I've ever spoken to over the last 20 years will say to me, Yeah, Dave, the mental game is very important. Most golfers will say that it's very important. Yet, very few actually work on it. What's really interesting to me is that so many say it's such a huge part of the game, and yet so few actually work on it. But there's a problem in my opinion. The problem is that the world is full of mental game noise. I'm going to call it mental game noise. There's a lot of theories, a lot of psychology, a lot of concepts, a lot of tips, and a lot of strategies. So golfers lust after these things. They read as many books as they can. They go to as many workshops as they can. They try to get tip after tip after tip. And in the end, their game doesn't change very much. That's a real problem. I had the same experience as a tennis player. But I'm talking to you, the golfer, now. Here's the deal. In my opinion, the mental game is really all of your game. When I ask golfers across the, the world how, what the percentage of the mental game is of their entire game, the average answer I get is 75%. I will tell you that it's 100% and I can prove it. Here's the proof. Every time you put your hands on the golf club, there are certain elements in play. When I teach the mental game, the components of the mental game are very simple. There's three of them. Your mind, your body, and your emotions. That's it. The mind, the body, and the emotions. Now here's the proof. Every time you put your hands on the golf club, all three of those components are in play. You can't change that. No matter what you do, you can't change it. So, while a lot of the mental game talk is all about psychology, psychology is not where it's at. Mind, body, emotions. All three of those are in play every time you put your hands on the golf club. Now here's what a lot of golfers are very unaware of. That there are laws, L-A-W-S, laws by which your mind, your body, and your emotions produce outcomes. It's that simple. And when I say a law, I mean something that's true for everybody, everywhere, at all times. There's no gray area here. There's no yeah buts. There's no, uh, yeah, it works over here, but not over there, Dave. Sorry, can't do that. A law is a law. Everyone, everywhere, at all times. So, there are laws that govern how your mind, your body, and your emotions produce outcomes. When you know what those laws are, and they're very simple, then you can start using those laws to produce the outcomes you choose. Because right now, those laws are producing outcomes that you do not like. So what does the average golfer do? They run around looking for more tips, read more books, spend money on more workshops, <laughs> gather more information, thinking that all that information is going to help them change. Major, major mistake. Because the reality is, more information does not equal more success. That's a basic truth. I teach all my clients. More information does not equal more success. Don't believe me? Look at your own proof. How long have you been running around trying to fix a certain part of your game. I'm not talking about physical part of your game now. I'm not talking about mechanics. How long have you been running around trying to fix things like confidence or consistency or reducing your tension? These are three very common things. And people have been running around doing this for weeks, months, and years with very sporadic results. So that's why I do not offer a single tip, a single strategy, a single theory or a single concept in my program. We don't need them because once you understand that there are very simple laws governing everything you think, feel, and do on the golf course, there's no reason for any tips. 
there's another second truth I want to throw at you right now. The first one was, more information does not equal better success. The second one is, nothing changes until you do. Now here's the biggest mistake I see golfers making. They think that all the information they get in a workshop or a book or a CD or whatever, they think that all of that is going to be the catalyst for the change. And frankly, it's not. Once again, you got your own experience to know that that's true. So everything I talk about, everything I teach is provable. It's undeniable and it's provable. Here is a simple example of a law. This is not one of the seven laws I teach, but this is just an example. Let's talk about the law of physics. Every golf pro is teaching every golf student the law of physics. Basically, it's very simple. When the face of the golf club meets the golf ball in a certain way, the golf ball has a very precise and predictable reaction, doesn't it? If the club face is open, the ball will slice. If the club face is closed, the ball will hook. If the club face is flat on contact, the ball will go straight in the direction that it was facing when they made contact. So if you go out to the golf course and you're slicing the ball all over creation, you can never turn around and say, oh, Dave, that law doesn't work. Of course it works. You're just not using it very wisely. The law of physics always works. Every law produces an outcome. Here's a second example. Let's say you and I are in an airplane. We're 15,000 feet above the ground, and we're going to parachute. It's just the two of us, and the door opens, and it's your turn. And before you step out, you say, uh, hey, Dave, I don't believe in gravity. Never have, never will. And you're really adamant about that. I'm just going to look at you and smile and say, okay. And when you step out, what's going to happen to you? That's right. You know exactly what's going to happen. You're going down. So what I tell people all the time is, your belief in the laws is absolutely unimportant. And your opinion of them, completely irrelevant. Now, most people have kind of a weird reaction to that. Because there's not too many places in your life that you can be told your belief is completely uninterested. Uh, it's just unimportant. Not uninterested. Unimportant. But when it comes to the laws, it's absolutely true. Do you think gravity cares what you believe about it when you're standing at the doorway of that plane? Do you think gravity cares what your opinion is of it? Do you think physics cares what you believe about it? Of course not. Everybody knows. The answer is no. Everybody understands that physics and gravity and things like that do not care what we believe about them. All they do is produce outcomes. They're laws. That's all they do. What most golfers do not understand is that there are a set of laws, I teach seven, a set of laws that are just as precise, just as predictable in their outcome, and just as undeniable and provable as physics and gravity. And that's where the Wired to Win program begins. So you can see, there's no reason for tips, no reason for theories, no reason for concepts or strategies even. None. And the reason people get better so fast is because of what I just described. There's no learning curve. How long do you have to think about gravity to see if it applies to you? You already know the answer. The answer is you don't. There's nothing to think about. You either use gravity wisely or you use it poorly. You either use the law of physics wisely or you use it poorly. Your teaching pro is trying to show you how to use the law of physics wisely. But if you don't use it wisely, it's still going to produce an outcome. If you use gravity poorly, it's going to produce an outcome that you're probably not going to be very happy with. So there are laws by which your mind, your body, and your emotions are literally working together to produce every outcome you get on the golf course. And here's another thing I find interesting with golfers. So many golfers, again, they'll say, yeah, the mental game is important, Dave. Oh, yeah, uh, what do you do about it? Do you, work, do you work on it? Eh, not that really, not that much. I read some books, uh, I go to some seminars and things like that, and I, I, I take notes, and, and I'm sorry, but <laughs> the general golf world simply does not get it. I have been talking about these things for 20 plus years, and yet people will still go back to psychology, and they'll still get more tips, and they'll read more books, and they'll get an idea and go, oh, that sounds good. 
and then they'll go try it. <clears throat> but here's what the majority say to me when I ask the question, do you use tips? Almost every golfer says, yes, I do. My next question is, how long do their results last for you? That's when they start laughing. The most common answer I get is, not that long. And I sit here and I go, well, why do you keep going around in circles doing things that you already know don't get you what you want? And the answer is, we don't know what else to do. Well, I do know what else to do. It's not about psychology. It's not about tips. It's not about theories or concepts. It's about understanding how you, the golfer, literally produce outcomes. And it's got nothing to do with your past. It's got nothing to do with your old attitudes and your negative beliefs and all your current negativity, uh, self-talk and all those things. Instead of running around trying to fix all that stuff, all a golfer needs to do is understand how all that stuff is literally producing outcomes. Because they're all happening by law. Everything that's going on in your game now, the negative part of what's going on, is already happening by law. So why don't you learn what these laws are so they can use them now consciously to produce the outcomes you want. The laws aren't going to be any different. Just because you learn them doesn't mean that's when they're, they've begun to operate. They're operating you and governing you right now, believe it or not. Your game is completely under control of these laws that I'm talking about. You can't change them. You can't get rid of them. There is nowhere to hide. There is no place out except for understanding that they exist and how they're actually producing outcomes right now. So, that's a little bit of straight talk from me, David Breslow. If you're interested in learning more, all you have to do is go to www.mentalgolfcoaching.com and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So, good luck to you on the golf course and to your best golf. Take care.